Hey guys, just a little update coming at you. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of pre-recorded videos from this week. Um, I just wanted to tell you that I will be entering the Lego Ninjaga movie contest where you can win all the sets, an exclusive set, and your name could be put on the Lego Ninjago movie credits. So, if I win, basically you'll be able to see my name in the credits. Which I probably, like, I'll tell you my name is on the credits if I do win. But I won't tell you wh uh, what name it is. Uh, even though you probably know my name is Phoenix. So I guess you're going to probably end up learning my last name. Um... Basically, it'll, it's going to be a uh, stop motion coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to be seeing some of my really good friends. My cousin, well, I consider her my cousin biologically. She's not my cousin, but who cares? Um, basically, uh, well, besides biology teachers, who cares? <laughs> um, but basically, um, I'm probably going to end up doing some videos there. Might, uh, uh, might post some more pre-recorded videos at my grandma's house. I also have a pretty neat Ninjago movie theory. The Lego Ninjago movie. So if you guys know season 1. No, it's season 2 or 3. Where um, the ninja become like small little kids due to like this dinosaur thing. And then they become big again. And then go to this comic sh um, store, and then the comic guy gives them lightsabers, and they fight Lord Gromadon with literal lightsabers, and then they go back to the comic shop to return the lightsabers, and then the comic guy is says he's working on a comic where your appearances are tweaked. Now, this leads me to believe that the Lego Ninjago movie is actually the comics, um made by this guy in Ninjago season two or three, whichever season it was. I think that would really wrap up the story, and I know it won't be mentioned in the movie itself. Now, uh, but it'll probably be mentioned by Lego afterwards or uh, Warner Bros. Um, so basically, another little thing I said is, this is not Really, a uh, spoiler, but in the Lego Batman movie, it definitely suggests that it is a sequel to the Lego movie itself, with the mention of, you know, actual base plates and the Infinity Hole, whatever that's called. I really hope there's Lego movie references in Lego Ninjago, because we all know that, um, well, that the Lego movie is its own universe, and then the Lego Ninjago movie probably happens in one of its own mini-worlds, and then the Lego Ninjago movie takes place in the comics, but then the comics are based off real life, so then there'll be a tiny, maybe like, a uh, maybe something... I don't know, but there wasn't much references. It was only the uh, the infinity drop thing. I forgot what's actually called, um, the abyss of nothingness. Yeah, the the great abyss of nothingness that appeared. But really, I don't think any more Lego movie. Uh, it looks like I'm in freaking heaven right now, like with the light. But I'm not like uh, just turn off the light. Okay. Um, but basically, yeah, that's all I really needed to say. Uh, pre-recorded videos, I've been releasing episode 3 of my solo series coming tomorrow morning. Uh, a lot of new videos coming this weekend and in spring break, because spring uh, break just began today! Yo! So I'll probably be doing like 50 videos in spring break, I'm not sure, but that's so tiny, I'm kidding. That's actually a lot of videos, but I'm not gonna, um, you know, make myself do that much videos. Um, just, I might end up doing that. See you guys later. Bye.